Hi guys, um, so today I'm going to show you something very specific and it's how I dealt with this pavement as you can see it's got lots of weeds coming through um, the concrete or sand in between each one is it's cracked um, it's broken in places it's not very pleasant it's a little bit wobbly uh, my idea was to convert this and change it in a couple of days and and this was the end result as you can see it looks very different now it's not a hundred percent amazing job but i did it myself i've never done this before um, i just followed a few simple instructions and i'm going to show you what how i did it um, and in terms of cost it cost about 110 pounds um, and about 100 of that was material so before this is what it looked like so you can see these cracks they're pretty there's a lot of earth in there there's a lot of um, weed there's a lot of grass growing through and that in itself creates the unbalance so my first job was to get rid of all that stuff um, and really you know clean the top um, just make it ready to for me to work on so I started really scraping out in between each joint and I created these little piles as you can see I just got rid of them and it was a lot of going back and forth to, to the to the skip or dump yard as I call it um, I used the jet wash now the reason I use the jet wash it makes life a lot easier you can just spray in between the stones be careful not to take any unwanted chipping off but Put a power jet wash on it and it will take the sand off it'll take the concrete off it'll take some of the weeds out you might need to scrape some of the weeds out yourself but that's not difficult it's not difficult so i started doing this and it just made life a lot easier so jet wash in between each uh, joint each slab sorry so you can see this is what it looked like um, that's the before and after that's that's the, that's what i want i want about um an inch up to an inch depth and it to be completely cleared so once i got you know that job started it started to look better already and this was the finished end result when all the pieces came out i did use a couple of tools i used a pointer which is not really made for this but i used it anyway and and a scraper just to help clear things up um, cost a few pounds each and there was still a bit of weed in there so I did pull that out but all in all it started to look good it started to look a lot clearer and next job was to go and buy some material so I chose this Silka fast fix it's really good it's self-setting uh, jointing compound um, the color I didn't go for I didn't go for buff it does come in buff or gray I went for gray a broomstick you will need and once it's all clean, it already looks better. You need to get it all wet, get it all washed and wet. I use, I use the hose for this, um, very self-explanatory. A couple of things to point out, however, is this compound, it sets really, really quickly. So, well, I say really quickly, in about 45 minutes to an hour, you'll realize it starts to harden. So, what you really need to do is start thinking about um, the area that you are able to work on. Now, I went for about a metre to a metre and a half um, per job, if you like. Well, when I say per job, it's not necessarily per bag. Well, you can do it that way. The way I did it is <clears throat> I created little mountains of, of, of this sand, of, of this silica fast fix around the cracks and I just created these little mountains and then I went around and filled them in. Before you do that, you've got to make sure the ground is wet as I've, as, as I've already mentioned. And, and then you can start putting your little molds, um, molds down. So in this case, I used the hose and I just went around and I just drenched the area that I'm going to work. And then I opened one of the bags and the bags come in foil and you've got about an hour to play with. So I created these little areas um, just covering the compound and then I started to scrape it in with this tool. Very easy. So this is the area I already did. That took me about an hour and then I realised I need to get some more material. So I went out and bought another four packs of this. I did six packs of this in total and uh, carried on working with it. And, um, you know, finally I got through it all and the job was done and that's it that's how easy it was there was nothing 
difficult about this really it was just took a bit of time a little bit of money not much 100 quid and i went you know from a really shabby back paving area to a really nice clean good looking um area with no weeds coming through and saved about 500 quid um, from not getting a builder to it let me know if you have any questions at all Thank you.